Hi, I'm Stacy. This is a total body workout with just a resistance band. You want a mini band. Makes a little loop like this. You can use latex or fabric. Um, either will work. I prefer latex for upper body and fabric for lower body most of the time, but like I said, you can make it work. You can also ditch the band at any time if you want to. Be sure to subscribe so that you will see when I have a new workout posted. And if you want more frequent workouts, you can also follow me on Instagram. I share workouts there daily. It's fitness underscore momness. All right, let's get started with some lower body. We're gonna take that band and put it around our thighs. You should be nice and warmed up. If you're not warmed up already, go follow one of my three minute warm up videos and then come back. All right, so we want feet hip width apart, weight in the heels, take it down to a squat, down and up. You can stay at the same pace I am, or you can take this at your own pace. Two, one, shift that balance a little bit. We're gonna lift our knee and tap, lift and tap. We're gonna really challenge our balance here with the resistance. If you wobble a little bit, that's okay. It means you're challenging yourself. Last one, hold it up. Now extend and pull. You have the option to also tap if you feel a little more stable that way. Four more. We're gonna put all three of those moves together. It's a mental workout too. Are you ready? Take it down. Here's our combo. Squat, lift, out, in, and squat. Down, up, ooh, down. We'll wobble together, it's totally fine. Four more of these combos. Take it a little slower or a little faster if you want. Two more. Oh, that lower body burn is hitting already. Last one. All right, come down, weight in the heels, walk it up for four. Four, three, two, quick shuffle back. Shuffle back, up. You stay as low as you want to right here. Shuffle. Two more. Up. Shuffle. One more. Ooh. Shuffle. All right, other side. We're gonna start with those squats. Weight in the heels. Down and up. Last one. And knee lift up and tap. Shift that weight. You're pressing through that standing heel. Give me four more. Three, two, hold this one up. Extend out and in. Remember, for more stability, you're welcome to tap. It's your workout. Do what works for you today. Two more. One. Put them together. Squat, lift, out, in. You can see me wobbling. Woo. If you have a wall or a chair nearby, you can also rest your hand for some support. Four more. Two. One. Oh my goodness. Stay low, come back, ready? Walk it up. Four, three, two, one, quick shuffle. Three more here. Two. One more. Four, three, two, bring it back. Oh, shake it out. Oh my goodness. Feeling it already. We're just a few minutes in. Don't worry. We will alternate muscle groups. Give it a little rest. So, you're gonna take that band all the way to your ankles. I'm switching here. I feel like I need a little bit less resistance. So if you have resistance options, I would suggest light to medium for this one. All right, toes are turned out. Heels are a little wider than hip width apart. We're gonna start with a calf raise. So take it up to the balls of your feet and down. You hear me out of breath already? Ooh. <laughs> Find that little pause at the top before you lower. Two more. One, now come up and hold. We're gonna keep our heels up as we plie, down and up. 
Again, if you wanna grab onto a chair, a countertop, something for support, that totally works. You want your tailbone going straight down. Imagine you're up against the wall and your back is just sliding up and down that wall. Down and hold. Hold this plie, single heel drop. Down, up, down, up. <laughs> Four, three, two. Last one. Hold that heel lift out and in, out, in. This is teeny tiny, like two inches. You wanna give it a little shimmy? You can make it fun. Four, three, two, other side. Here we go. Out and in. Four, three, two, one. Reset from the top. Give me those calf raises. Up, down, up, down. I want double the reps for the calf raise this time. I can feel it. Your calves are ready. They're strong enough. They need a little extra push. All right, halfway, eight more. High on the balls of your feet. Flex those calves every single lift. Four more. Two, hold this one, one. Bring it down to that plie, down and up. However your arms help you balance, that's totally fine. They can be here, they can be on your hips, they can be out. Just remember, tailbone straight down, back nice and straight. Three, two, hold it down, single heel, down, up, down, up. You got it, this is our last time through. Then we're switching to upper body for a moment. Three, two, one, out and in, let's go. Give me eight each side. Four, three, two, switch. Come on, you got it. Inner thighs, they should be screaming. Get lower if you want more. Four, three, two, one. Whoo, shake that band off. We're coming to upper body. Now, if you have a fabric band and that's too much resistance, you can just grab a set of dumbbells. You can do this with body weight alone. You want light resistance for this one for sure. We're gonna hit those shoulders, grab that band. Now you find as much resistance as you want. We're gonna lower down with straight arms and lift. Now you can come all the way up, or if that's too much rotation for your shoulder, if you have a popping going on, you can stop short wherever it works. Up, down. Remember, wider resistance for more here. Two, one, up and hold. We're gonna pull it to our chest nice and wide and then press. So we're pressing at a diagonal. Yes. Find that pause. Don't let that band control you. You gotta resist it. Two, one. Now come all the way up, singer, single, shoulder pull. That static arm stays nice and straight. Alternate, pulling, getting that full extension down all the way up. Good. Three, two, one. Rotate the palms out and press, press, press. Ready? Bring it down slowly. Keep that press going. We're coming down. Shoulders are down. Ooh, three, two, one. Reset. Let's do it one more time. Find that resistance as far as you wanna go. Take it down and up, down and up. Remember, all the way at the top, or you can stop anywhere in between. Even if that's shoulder height, you're still getting the work. Four more. How are your shoulders? Ooh. If you have a goal to do handstands, shoulder workouts are gonna be very beneficial. All right, up and hold, pull to your chest, down and up. I've got a handstand tutorial, five minutes long, really great to get you started. If that's something you think that it would be fun to do, they're a great workout. 
and a great party trick. Two, come on, pull wide. One, singles to your shoulder, down, up, down, up. Give me four more. We're gonna switch muscle groups very soon. Last one here. Palms out, press, press, press. You got it. We gotta get that lower in, so keep pressing. Take them down, down, all the way to the bottom. Don't stop. We're so close, don't stop. Three, two, one. Whoo, roll those shoulders out. Give me a little lasso if you felt that one. <laughs> All right, we're switching to triceps. What you wanna do is grab the band just like this. So one arm, it's gonna hold it tight to your shoulder. Other is going to extend. We're starting with a tricep kickback. Stop at the hip. So find that full extension and then stop right here. You wanna keep that resistance, okay? Out, in, out, in. This is triceps around the world. We're gonna hit bottom, Middle and top, both sides. Keep it going. Four more. Three, two, one. All right, stand up straight, no hinge. Bring it up to shoulder height. Out, in. Remember, we're keeping that resistance. So you don't come all the way. You stop at about 90 degree bend. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Cheerleader arm, take it up. Ready, up, in. Same thing, stopping that bend at about 90 degrees. Oh my goodness, this should be a challenge. You should have to dig deep and push yourself for these last few reps. Six more. Four. We're switching arms after this. Yes, you can. The last one. Oh, switch it out. Same thing. Grab the band just like this. Tight to your shoulder. Oops, try not to hit my mic. Stopping at your hip. Little hinge, kick it back and in. Back and in. You can stay with me. You can go faster or slower. That's okay to change the pace. You just don't want momentum. You wanna resist that band. You're in charge. <laughs> Three, two, one. Stand it up, shoulder height, stopping at 90 degrees. Let's go, out, in. Give me eight more. Last four here. Add more resistance. If that's not enough, pull that band in a little bit. Two, one, cheerleader, here we go. Up, in, get that full extension. Eight more. Last four, you got it. Two, one, we're not done with triceps. I want you to get that band behind your back, on your wrist. So bring it around, dodge your watch if you've got a watch on. You get as much resistance as you want. We are just gonna lift and lower to start. Lift and lower. So keep that resistance. If it's not enough, take your arms further apart. As high as you can lift and down, finding that little pause. We just have eight more. We're gonna finish it out with a pulse, four more, three, two, hold this one up. We are pulsing out, 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 out. Just a few inches. Can you give me 16? Yes, you can, you're halfway there. Eight. This is it, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, shake it out. Let's move back to some lower body. Now, you wanna grab something for balance here. Um, I've got, I'll just use my weight rack or the wall. Whatever around you is around you will work. If you want the band, it's gonna go around our feet. You can certainly do this without the band. It is a real challenge. 
when you are trying to balance and you also have that resistance. So this doesn't have to be big. I want you to find control. All right, around your feet, grab something for support. We're coming right up, knee to about hip height, and then tap. Tapping in front so you keep that resistance in the band. We're just gonna hit each side one time. Four more here. You've gotta press through that standing heel. Don't lock your knee out. You wanna keep a soft bend in that supporting leg. Come back up and hold. Hold that bend, rotate out and in. We might not have the same rotation. Maybe you have more or less, that's okay. You just wanna hit as much rotation as you can. Work that hip mobility. Three, two, one. Now extend out to the side, knee is facing forward, tap down and lift. Remember, slight bend in that supporting leg. Don't lock out your knee. Just four more. Two, one. Now, more bend, tap back and side. Just this leg is moving, nothing else. You should be squeezing through the hamstring and the glute on the planted leg. Ooh, four more. Three, two, hold it back, back and up, pulse, little diagonal pulse. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm about to snap a band. Hasn't happened yet. Four, three, two, one. Whoo, shake it out. We are switching sides. I'm just gonna waddle my way over to the wall. You'll get a different angle this time. Same thing though. Press through the planted foot, that heel, soft bend in the knee. Ready, come up, front, raise, right to hip height, and then lower. Four more. Two, up and hold, rotate, out, in. Whatever range of motion you've got, that's good. Challenge it a little bit. Press it as wide as you can. Four, three, two, one. Extend, knee is facing forward. Lift and lower, all control. Don't let that band snap you in. Check in on your form. Do you have a slight bend in your supporting leg? Don't lock that knee out. Two, one, here we go. Tapping back and side. Whew. Five more. You feeling that burn with me? I know you are. Four, three, Ready for that pulse. Here it is, hold it back, diagonal, up and back. We are so close. Four, three, two, one. Oh, shake it out. If you wanna continue with the band, we're bringing it to the thighs. I'm going fabric. Whatever works for you. All right, we're gonna use that balance assist again. So we'll go back to the other side. That's fresh. Oh my goodness, this is quite a bit of resistance. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, soft bend, slight lean. This leg is straight. We are lifting, three, two, hold, down, two, hold. That hold should be challenging. You might be a little shaky. Hips are square, so that means knees are facing forward. Three, two, hold. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. All right, lift and bend. Lift, in, out, down. Ooh, that booty should be burning. Four more. Lift and bend. Three, two, one, same leg. I'm just gonna rotate so you can see what's happening here. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. Oh my goodness. All right, quick question. Which leg is feeling it more? The moving or the supporting? 
You said supporting. You're right. You should be pressing through that heel. Two more. Talking and counting at the same time is hard. I'm counting in my head, don't worry. This is it. Lift and bend, ready? Lift, bend. Oh my goodness. Seven more. Four more. Ow! Three. Glutes on fire. Last one. Oh, shake it out. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing. You're just gonna get a different angle. All right, starting with that side lift. Hips are square. Three, two, hold. Are you ready? Let's go. Three, two, hold. Down, two, hold. Three, two, hold. You wanna find that pause. Don't cheat yourself out of that pause. All right, four more. Three. It's a mental workout too. Do you remember what comes next? Last one here. Lift and bend, let's go. Up, in, out, down. Soft bend in that supporting leg. Don't lock that knee out. I know I'm a broken record. I just wanna keep you safe. I wanna protect your knees. I don't want you to faint on me. Last one. Okay, to the back. Are you ready? Three, two, hold. Down, two. You can hinge with this lift. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is the one. This is where my glutes start screaming. Ow. Give me four more. Three, two, hold. Two more, we got this. That combo is coming. Last one here. Ready, lift and bend. Six more, you got this. We're moving to some core and upper body after this. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Lose that band if you've got it. Now, the main focus is core and upper body. You can grab resistance band if you want. It's not required. We are gonna still get some inner thighs and quads as well because we will be in a plie a lot. So, toes are out. You always want knees tracking over your toes. They should go the same direction. If they're starting to cave in, you need to rotate. Just check in with yourself. All right, band is going around our wrists and here it stays the whole time. Coming down, you get as much resistance as you want or as little, just don't keep any slack in the band. All right, we've got a combo. We're gonna twist, center, come out of that plie, chop down and up. Ready? And we'll alternate side to side. Twist, center, get that nice, torso twist. It doesn't have to be very big, just twisting as much as you can. Good. One more each side. Last one here. As you come down, press the arms out. Down, two, up, two. Down, two. Okay, lower body is getting a lot, but so are shoulders. One more. All right, lunge. Hold that lunge and hit down and up. Wider for more resistance. Four, three, two, switch sides. Hit. Those arms full ex fully extended. Four, three, two, one. Back to that plie side crunch with a heel pop. Give me eight each side. As wide as you want with that band. Four, three, two, other side, four, three. I started counting too early. Now it's four. <laughs> Sorry. And last one. Ready, reset, come down, twist combo. Twist, extend. Now shoulders are feeling it fully. Big twist. 
Give me four more. Two. One. Down and press. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. You got it. Lose that band if you want. This is your workout. Modify whatever works for you as long as you're still feeling challenged. Last one. Lunge. Hit. Four, three, two, and switch. Four more. Two, one, side crunch. Find that resistance with a heel pop. Four more on this side. Use your core, get that little lean. Last one, switch. Side crunch, come on. Four, three, two, one, something new, twist down for four, three, two, one, up. As much resistance as you want in that band. Home stretch right here. Two more, big twists, come on, as much as you can. There we go. All right, find that plie, double, double. You got it, we are almost there. Last time, we're gonna go to singles. Singles right here, hit, hit, use your core. We're just dancing, right? Ow! Three, two, one. <sighs> Shake it out. All right, we're gonna come down to the mat and finish with core. Our first set does involve some shoulders and back. We're gonna come to plank work. Now, anytime um, that we are in plank for a little bit less, you can elevate the hands. So you can prop your hands up on a coffee table, on a chair. So instead of coming all the way down to plank, you can be right here. It'll still be a good challenge, just a little less intense. So remember that option. All right, planks call for ponytails. If you know me, ponytail means it's getting real. I hardly ever do it. <laughs> okay, ready, set up. Hands elevated or down, nice strong plank. Palms underneath the shoulders. We're gonna start with a side tap. Just eight here. Try to keep everything nice and still. Just the leg is moving. Four, three, two, one. Give me a lift. Whew. Just four more. Two, one. Walk your feet in, knee hover. This is option one. We're gonna press out and in. If you need to drop to your knees, then you just press one side at a time. Are you ready? Give me eight. Come on. Just four more. Let's go. Three, two, one. Little reset. We're gonna do it all again on the other side. So, it's quick, right? So fast. I'm just gonna turn so you can see my moving leg. Set it up. Hands on the mat or elevated on that chair or that stool, whatever you got. Are you ready? Starting with that side tap. Let's go. Out and in. Four more. It's gonna fly by. Two. One, back lift, lift, lower. Ooh. Four more. Two, one, into that hover, or drop your knees and go one at a time. Just eight here, out, in, out, in. Four, three, two, one. Keep that band on if you want. We're gonna to come to a little seated core. Now, you do want your low back supported. So, if you've got a Pilates ball, this is excellent. If you don't have one of these, these come in handy for so many things. Um, I got mine from Pro Body Pilates. You can actually get a discount on all of their stuff with code FMOMNESS. So F-M-O-M-N-E-S-S. -S. Okay, back to the workout. This is our last series. If you don't have a ball, 
You can take a towel, roll it up, and support that low back. Or take a couple of throw pillows. Get creative. Don't stop. Don't quit on me now. This is it. You've come this far. Wipe the hair off your neck. All right, so low back is supported. We are gonna come down, knee press, in, and lift. Ready? Jump in. Demo is done. Time for you to hop in with me. Give me four more. Two. One. Two presses as we come down. Press, press, up, up. Come as low as you can. Down, down, up, up. If you feel that little earthquake in your tummy, it's okay. Your core is working hard. You might get that little rumble. Just don't hold your breath. Breathe. Last one. All right, come down. Little combo. Uh, down, reach, down, and up. There we go. Down, reach. You can get a little twist with that reach. Oh my goodness. One more each side. Last one. All right, come down, extend that leg, press to the side. Core is on fire. Four, three, two, one. Other side, out, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Plant that foot, come down, twist it out. We are done after this. Get low, give me a big twist. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Keep that support right there. Lay down. Oh, how good is this stretch for your back? If you have a ball, it's, it creates a nice little massage. All right, come on up. Now, I'm not gonna lead you through an entire stretch, but I do have stretch videos. Be sure and stretch it out right now while your body's nice and warm. That's gonna help you with muscle recovery. You'll feel better, faster to come work out with me again. Have a great day.